misty skies, driving rain, a slippery circuit, and a strong wind. These are the conditions which face the 30 starters in this, the 14th British Grand Prix. To be run over 75 laps of the three-mile circuit here at Aintree, 225 miles in Britain's only event to count for points in the Formula One World Championship of Drivers. The race run on behalf of the RAC by the British Automobile Racing Club with the assistance of the Daily Mirror. 30 starters lining up there on the grid, lined up there on the grid, with a little under four minutes to go to the start. Already, the International Assembly has been presented with the pomp which befits such an occasion, and now the nervous tension immediately before the start begins to mount. And in pole position, we see the quickest of the four men who have tied for the fastest practice lap, a thing I can never remember. That's Phil Hill, the leader, of the Ferrari Works team and leading in the World Championship at the moment with 19 points, who went round in 1 minute 58.8, 90.91 miles an hour, at a time equaled by his teammates next to him there on the grid, the American Richie Ginther in car number six, and on the outside beyond Richie Ginther's Ferrari, Jerkin Bonnier leading the Porsche team, the man who very nearly won the French Grand Prix. On the second rank of the grid, the third of the works Ferraris, Taffy Von Trips, who also did 158.8, and therefore the second fastest laps were the deciders for the grid. And there in car number 28, the man who must be enormously grateful for this rain and those reflections on the slippery surface about him. Sterling Moss at the wheel of Rob Walker's Lotus, looking round, checking his own position on the grid. Now just look at that picture. The forced smile or the casual smile? Well, your guess is as good as mine. And behind him there, with one minute to go, Tony Brooks, the quicker of the two VRMs, and alongside him, the two Lotus Works drivers, Innes Island in 16, and Jim Clark in number 18 there. And behind, the rest of the field of 30 starters, there's Jim Clark, who also likes the wet and who also went very fast in practice in the wet yesterday. And behind the rest of the 30 starters, Jack Rabham is there, fairly well placed, they him in car number 12. The other Porsche of Dan Gurney, Bruce McLaren, Graham Hill there on the inside in car number 20. And then the private entries, and there, in the very center of the picture now, Jack Fairman at the wheel of the four-wheel drive Ferguson, which must be at an advantage in the wet weather here, but now seconds to go before the start. You can see in the rain, 225 miles, and the 14th RAC British Grand Prix. Sterling Moss. Sterling Moss trying on the outside and then cutting back again. And it's the two Ferraris which lead away in that great crowd of spray towards Waterways Corner with Phil Hill in the center of the track and his teammate Richard Ginter right alongside him. Jack Ginnis and Sterling Moss going through in fifth position there. There's Tony Brooks who we saw on the uh, third rank of the grid. And just look at the conditions as the uh, drivers go through this over 100 mile an hour corner in the drive. But what a terrifying experience that must be for the tail enders to go into that solid sheet of water. Meantime, the leaders are coming down into that section of the circuit, which is called the, the, the country loop, which is a triangle of uh, four quite slow corners at about 40 miles an hour in the dry and a good deal less in the wet. And it looks to me as if Bill Hill on the Ferrari is in the lead as he breaks to go around that left And it's Von Trips and Richard Ginther, the three Ferraris in the lead, and Bonnier up there, uh, just about alongside Moss, so the race has settled into the sort of pattern one would expect. I'm keeping an eye for the Ferguson. It went through on the inside there, taking an entirely different line from everybody else, with Berman relying on his four-wheel drive. Meantime, the leader is going down Valentine's Way now, which is an extremely fast straight. There he is on it. 
now, and then down to the far end of entry, car number two, Phil Hill, leading the World Championship and leading the British Grand Prix on this opening lap, and accelerating up the railway straight now, up towards 130 miles an hour in the Formula One one and a half litre cars, and still, it's still maximum speed on the straight, regardless how, uh, how wet it is, and now coming into an extremely difficult hazard of the entry circuit, the Melling Crossing, which is a 90 mile an hour left and right flick, followed by a very deceptive right hander, which Phil Hill is taking now, and then the short dash into Tats, savage braking right down to less than 40 miles an hour, and round they come, and it's Phil Hill, Bond Fitz, Richard Ginther, and then Sterling Moss. That's the order as they go, and then Jerk and Bonnie are there on the Porsche in fifth place. So it's the three works Ferraris, and there's Jim Clark, and then Tony Brooks, and then Graham Hill, and then Jack Brabham. Jack Brabham with a white tail going up through the spray. There's Dan Gurney on the other Porsche, making that lot, and Bruce McCarran. And here are the leaders going to waterways now. the Ferraris and there's Sterling Moss almost disappeared in spray and there's Bonnier. There are the first five still no change and then Jim Clark and then Tony Brooks and then Graham Hill and then Jack Brabham well up there. 